Hello YouTube, it's 7 x Rob Raccoon A7X here with an update video. I am going to show you guys my trade binder update. I have to redo it because I got a lot more stuff and plus I have uh, card sleeves to open up for you guys that I finally got in the mail today. So Before I do that though, uh, I had a busy weekend actually. Um, I hung out with a couple of my friends in my old town and we did a two versus tw two versus two duel. I know I couldn't I should have recorded it but probably would have taken forever anyway. And we were playing at a slow pace but it was me and my other friend Rob. Yeah, go figure we have the same name and we're on a tag team, but it was my equip warrior deck and his uh rock stun deck which um mainly revolves around around Kawaki Marus and Fossil Dyna. And my other friends were uh, using, one of them was using six Sams, and the other one was using this mixed sub deck that revolved around Dark Diviner, and we won, we lost the first match and then won the next two, and then I versed um, my friend with the Dark Diviner deck with my friend's Rockstone deck and won two games, and won uh, two matches out of three. And then I went on Dueling Network with my X Saber deck, and a lot of people rage quit on me, which I found hilarious, and I was playing on Ranked, by the way. But I just found that funny, and yesterday we went to Walmart, and well, one of my friend, well, one of my friends just got one order Chaos Special Edition, pulled the Veiler he wanted, but nothing else good. Um, and my other friends bought a whole bunch of order of Chaos Special Editions. I think there were like five of them that that Walmart, and they bought them all. They didn't pull anything really good. Um, yeah, one of them was looking for Insectors. I think we only got one, and it wasn't even a good one, so... Uh, yeah. And I forgot the ratios on... Um, yeah, one of my friends got two Raws, and then I think the other one got like a couple Veilers and a Raw or something. Can't remember, but... Ah, sorry for my heavy breathing <laughs> allergies. Anyway... Um, what else? Oh, and then I got... There's randomly an X-Saber power-up pack behind all those special editions, so... I decided to get one of those. Didn't pull anything good. I got a super skill successor, as you will see in a moment, and another Raggy Gura. Otherwise, nothing good. And then I also got my first two packs of... Raw Yellow Mega Pack. Hopefully I'll get more of those. And I kind of wish I got another two Raw Yellow Me Mega Packs instead of the uh, uh, Power Up Pack. But oh well. And then I also got the new Starter Deck. So, yeah. And then... Um, i trying to think. Did we buy... Oh, and then my other friend bought... Uh, and then the same friend who bought all the Order of Chaos has got a... <coughs> Sorry for my breathing again. And then my other friend got, whatchamacallit. Uh, he he also got a couple Rael Mega Packs, and he got a... He got an Ultra Yite... Uh, yeah, Yaichi for his deck. If I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> anyway, but... Um, yeah, so he had a... So I'm going to show you guys what I pulled. And he had a bunch of Elder the Six Supers, since he had a box of Samurai Assault, so he gave me one for free. And then I also traded uh, a Kigeki for a Super Dark Souls, and so I only need one more. Oh, they also bought tins. Um, two of my friends bought uh, Leviathan Dragon tins. I was going to buy an Illuminai tin just for the Dark Soul, but I decided not to. And I, I saw, and yes, they did have Cardfight Vanguard, but there are no packs left, which made me very sad because I probably would have bought in a lot of those, but. Ah, uh, they were all they were all out, but they do have Cardfight Vanguard at Walmart, which makes me very happy. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I pulled, other than the Hollows. Um, this is Full Helm probably will not be for trade. I'll put that in my uh, Warrior collection, and then another Raggy, not for trade, obviously. So our sparkles for X Sabers. Don't think I'm running it though. Got another Arcana Knight Joker, which made me very happy because the other one I got, uh, I lost it or misplaced it somewhere. So yeah, glad I'm got I got that. Otherwise, nothing really good. 
and then here's um that's a special edition. Now here are my raw yellow, minus the hollow poles, which you will see in a second. <coughs> when I'll show you guys my trade binder update. But yeah, I don't need any of these, so yeah, yeah. Man, that was embarrassing. I thought somebody called me, but it turns out nobody did. Oh wow, that's embarrassing. Anyway. So yeah, the rare Garoth will probably for will probably be for trade as well because I do want the uh, super version of it. So that also be for trade. And I have a Rainbow Neos, ne two Rainbow Neoses actually. I'm looking for the secret version of this, and then a Car Trooper. And then now for the Hollow Pools. So here goes the uh, trade binder update before I open up. I'll open up the card sleeves last, so. Here we go. Alright, um. These five I pulled out of my hidden arsenal pack. And then, these are my other hidden arsenal cards, minus a Flameville Magician, which is somewhere in the binder, I think. And then here are my pulls for my, uh, three of my pulls for my X Saber power up. I don't know where the other ones went. Oh, wait, that is it. Haha, <laughs> whoops. Yeah, I think this might be for trade, because I don't think I'm making that deck. And that is not a deck, by the way. That's just a glare. Or I meant... Yeah, this card's in mint. Uh, it may look bad, but that's only because of the uh, case. Or I meant the... Uh... Yeah, see, there's no... S everything, pretty much... Almost everything in here is for mint. But, like, the first page, everything is mint, though, because I pulled it. <coughs> Sorry guys. Anyway. So this is my first pack, which I was okay with. I'm like, hey, I got a Miracle Fusion. And then second pack, I think that Konami wanted me to actually build my E-Hero deck, which I probably won't, because I'm trying to build X-Sabers and then in the summer, Vylons. But here is uh, what I got out of my second pack. Uh, Ultra Future Fusion, Secret Super Poly, and a Super Grand Mole, but... These are for trade. I'm only looking for my X Saber once, though, so. Yeah. If you don't have X Sabers, don't bother. And then here's the rest. I'm just gonna go through it quickly. Same old stuff. Sorry, my shorts. <laughs> shorts are on my bed. Oh well. Yeah. <coughs> Everything's mint or near mint. Oh yeah, let me take these two commons out. I forgot what was there, actually. Oh well. <laughs> no biggie. I don't know why I saved the card sleeves for last, but... Anyway. Wait, I have two Divine Wraths? Oh. Okay, I could have... Okay, that's weird. I guess I have two Super Divine Wraths. Okay. <laughs> Just a quick FYI there. Yeah, there's a stupid skill successor. That got me upset. But I mean, the starter deck and the... <coughs> the starter deck and the whatchamacallit. The uh, raw yellow packs made up for it, I believe. And then here's what's left of my Vanguard. Ow. I got poked. I got poked by the edge of this. Like, really? Anyway. Yeah, I'm trying to sell or trade off my entire binder. Just for, what you call it? My, uh... X-Saber wants. So hit me up with off... Hit me up with offers, guys. That's pretty much it for that, but not for the end of the video, because I got sleeves to open. Oh my gosh, I'm showing my address. <laughs> that would have been good. Anyway, I got some sleeves to open up. Yay. These are for my X saber deck, so I'm going to open this off camera, because I don't want to show you guys my address and crap, so hopefully this doesn't take too long. 
Yeah, it makes sense just to rip it here and then do this. Yeah, these sleeves I got off of Card Rush, though. Alright. Uh, here's the confirmation letter, I guess. Yep. Oh, I thought I said green for a second. I'm like, no, I didn't get green. I got teal green. I don't know. The teal green looks cool, so. I said, okay. Oh, perfect. These are nice. Uh, teal green. Deck prot sleeves. I don't think I've ever gotten deck prot sleeves, so I felt like trying them out. But I'm going to open it up, put some X Saber cards in here, and let you guys know what I think. I was stuck between either this or the ocean blue, but I thought the ocean blue would be like the metallic blue card sleeves I have for my Ice Berry deck, so. He's kind of reminded me of, like, the San Jose Sharks, so I got him. So that's another reason why I got him, but I like him. Oh, yeah, and it's, like, brighter than what you see on the camera. So. Let's put a full helm in here and see how it is. Yeah, these are Yu-Gi-Oh! sized. Feel nice. Cool. Just put more. Let's put a dark soul in here. Yeah, these fit pretty nice. Feel nice too. I don't see like a difference with this and Ultra Pro, for instance. I really don't have a preference when it comes to card sleeves, honestly. I mean, I've used Ultra Pro for the longest time, and then. You guys know I use, like, uh, these pretty old Konami official card sleeves for my Equip Warrior deck. And then for my Ice Barriers, I use Player's Choice. And with the Player's Choice card sleeves, they got scratches on the back of them easily. Some people say it's because you uh, it's because of the color, which I think is ridiculous. But, uh, because everybody says, oh, if you don't get the orange Player's Choice char card sleeves, then you shouldn't really get player's choice sleeves at all then, which I think is stupid. I don't think it matters on what color you get. I mean, I don't think a company would try to make one color better than the other. So right now, I'm, like, showing basically all the X savers I have so far. Yes, I had, like, one pack of these red Ultra Pro standard size sleeves, so, like, for Pokemon, but... Decided not to get them because they're standard, not Yu-Gi-Oh sized. And then I was thinking of getting a deck box, but I might just get that from uh, the music store when I go there again. Whatever that may be. <laughs> and it's hard to believe, but tomorrow is May. Which means 22 more days until Ghost Recon Future Soldier comes out, which I have had pre-ordered, so. Yeah, expect an opening for that uh, the day it comes out. That Tuesday. And where did my other Dark Soul go? Huh. Got another Dark Soul. So yeah, my uh, wants list is on my channel. So let me get, know if you guys want anything. Anything is for trade or for sale. So let me know in the description below. Uh, not in the description. What am I saying? Let me know in the comments below. Or PM me for an offer. And it sounds like I'm feeling better now. Uh, so yeah, I apologize about how bad the video was earlier. And how I was talking a lot, but... Well, it was a busy weekend for me, so... Yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And... Um, oh yeah, question... I have a question of the day for you guys. If I were to do a Pokemon Let's Play, should I be... Um, should I make my trader a boy or a girl? I'll leave the... Uh, so, uh, comment with your answer below, and I'll also leave the question in the description as well. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Like I said, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you next time, guys. Uh, bye for now.